This is Bumper to Bumper TV. If you recently awoke from a decades-long hibernation starting in the late 1970s, then the current design of full-sized vans might come as a radical surprise. The Sprinter is Mercedes entering the large people and cargo hauler segment, and of course, they had to make theirs bigger than everyone else. Our test model was the 2500 series, so that means seating for a lot of folks, like 12 people including the driver. This is the kind of capacity that could be useful for the church choir. There is so much space for passengers that the optional roof-mounted air conditioning system gets to earn its keep in hot weather. The seating position behind the wheel is another reminder that this is not a typical soccer mom offering. While it's functional, don't expect to be swaddled in the usual Mercedes luxury. The center stack display performed a number of functions and as expected, handled a Bluetooth stream with ease. Now the question is, how does it handle in real world driving conditions? We found the rack and pinion steering gave a pretty good feel for the road. When put into some hard turns, the rather tall sprinter doesn't flinch due to the adaptive stability systems that keep it firmly planted on the pavement. Despite its size and curb weight, we were not disappointed in the drivetrain. This is a 2.0 liter inline four-cylinder turbo diesel and it's quite up to the task. The official rating is 161 horsepower and 266 foot-pounds of torque. While it won't win any land speed contest, the good news is a range of more than 600 miles on a full tank of fuel. A 7-speed G-Tronic transmission used across the Mercedes lines finds a place here and shifts without effort. Back in the days when Mercedes and Chrysler were joined at the hip, the Sprinter platform became the basis for what is now a Ram Pro Series work truck. You have to wonder why Mercedes didn't use the Chrysler expertise to create a minivan version of the Sprinter of their own. You gotta ask. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.